Hello, welcome back to another Word of the Day video. My name is Teacher Sean, and I'm so happy that you are here. We have yet another Word of the Day for you, and today's word, we're gonna jump right into it. Today's word is the word canceled. Yesterday I asked you, you just got canceled. What do you do? Here are your best answers. So what is canceled, right? Because we're not talking about the traditional form of like, oh, this thing can't happen. It's canceled for tonight. No, that's not what we're talking about. We have a new version of that word canceled, and it's actually a past participle, which means it's a verb, but we're going with the term past participle today because uh, that's good grammar. So what does it mean? Well, canceled in today's terms is when somebody does something really bad and the general public comes together in, in, in like a mass and they decide that they're gonna informally boycott that person or they're gonna stop paying attention to them, right? And it's, it's usually like a public figure who gets canceled. So uh, if, if somebody does something really bad and people stop liking them and stop paying attention to them, they are canceled. Uh, a quick example of that would be Jake Paul, an American YouTuber, is getting canceled all the time. That guy is constantly just making people upset, making them angry, and they cancel him. So here's an example of that in a sentence. You could say, I'm so over Jake Paul, he's canceled. Synonyms for that word include spent, over, and finished, all right? So like his time's up, he's spent, right? Nobody cares about him anymore, or everybody's over him, or he's finished. All of those mean the same thing as being canceled. Once again, the example sentence is, I'm so over Jake Paul, he's canceled. 